Welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland. I'm glad to see you here. On the 1st of February 2022, I shared with you my personal expense tracker and a guide on how to use it. It's a nifty way of saving more money and guiding yourself to a better financial position. If you haven't already watched it, I added the link to the description box below and you will find it in a little info button at the top right corner. Don't forget to check out that video as well and download the free Power BI report. While the original tutorial is focusing on how to use the report, I promise to record a few other, hopefully, shorter videos about how the sausage was made. And this is going to be one of those how-to tutorials. In other words, over the next few videos, I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks that I used in the expense tracker report, stuff that you can easily replicate in your reports to make your life easier and to make your report consumer's life simpler. These tips are not limited to the expense tracker, I'm just going to use that report as an example. And if you get value out of these tips, please consider clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. It helps to spread the word about some of these cool little features in Power BI. Thanks heaps! In today's episode, I would like to share with you my multi-visual settings. So without any delay, let's hop over to Power BI. First of all, let me show you what the published report looks like. As I mentioned, I use the expense analysis report page and the top left I have a combo visual. By default, users will see icons or emojis on the x-axis. However, within a click of a button, they can switch to text and back to icons. Both visuals have the exact same details, same data. They even share the same tooltip. But when it comes to the UI, or I should rather say user preference, this multivisual setup provides some flexibility. While technically users would be able to make this switch with the personalized visual feature, I reckon giving them a single button to make it happen, it's just easier. Let's open the report in Power BI Desktop and check what's going on behind the scenes. We are still on the expense analysis page, but let me show you the visual elements on this page. Let's explore the year-to-date expenses visual group. There are three elements there. First of all, a bookmark navigator. It's important to have this on the top as this is going to drive the z-axis order or layering. This means that this button must always be on the top to allow users to switch between the two visual types or visual setup. Otherwise, it would disappear behind one of the visuals. Then I have two other elements within the year-to-date expenses group. Both have the same name or title as they are formula-driven, however, they show different things. Let's hide them all and only reveal one at a time. So we only have our background here, where I can place the visuals. If I show the first element within the group, you can see the chart with icons or emojis. Hiding that and showing the second element, we reveal the same data but with text on the x-axis. Once both of these visuals were created and fine-tuned, all I had to do is to create a group of bookmarks. Let me show you my bookmarks for this year-to-date spend visual. I have icons and text and as I switch between these two, you can see the visual changing as well. Neat, isn't it? Finally, assign this bookmark group to the bookmark navigator and we are done. Let's quickly wrap it up. If you want to replicate something like this to help your users to easily switch between two different visuals or visual types, you need to create those visuals individually, perfectly place them on top of each other and add the bookmark navigator on the top. A couple of small but very significant bits to keep an eye out for. Always make sure that you have the right visual layering under selection as you will need the bookmark navigator on the top. I would also suggest enabling the maintain layer order for all visuals within the group. Just keep in mind that this only works if you group your visual elements under selection. Bookmark each setup under a dedicated bookmark group. This will also help to only reference those bookmarks in the bookmark navigator. It's all part of a lovely illusion for the end user, but from the backend, it's nothing more than the smart use of visuals and bookmarks. 
Oh, and the best part is that you can use this method to create completely different visuals as well. Let's say a bar chart and the matrix. Be sure to try it out and ask your report users what would help them the most when it comes to easily switching between visuals. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's tutorial and you will be able to replicate it in your reports. If you haven't already watched it, make sure to check out the personal expense tracker video and download the free report. And don't forget to hit those magic buttons under this video.